Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by XVPN. Now, as iOS 17 continues to enhance password sharing features, many users continue to save their commonly used password inside of third-party apps and browsers. Of course, this makes your personal private information and passwords vulnerable to thieves. To address this, XVPN can offer a great solution. By encrypting your internet traffic and online activities, they can route it through their secured servers. This way, XVPN can significantly reduce data leaks including your passwords. Now of course XVPN can also protect you when you're traveling. With the addition of AirPlay support in hotels coming with iOS 17, you can easily stream your favorite TV shows while you travel. Now of course XVPN can help you to stay protected, unlock region based services so you can enjoy all your favorite movies and TV shows. They have over 8,000 servers worldwide. XVPN can definitely enable you to watch your favorite TV shows without any restrictions. So of course make sure you grab XVPN and protect your passwords, protect your personal data. They currently offer offer a 60% off on a one-year plan and with a 30-day money-back guarantee you have absolutely nothing to lose so make sure you check out all the links in the description down below and thank you to XVPN for sponsoring this video. So iOS 17 developer beta 6 has been out for a couple of days now and I wanted to come back and share with you guys additional new features and changes within the software and I also want to talk about performance the software continues to improve Apple continues to add new features and I wanted to share those with you guys in this video now here on the left I have an iPhone running iOS 17 developer beta 6 and on the right is running beta 5 just for reference I'm going to show you some of the differences that I've noticed after a couple of days of using the beta now for those of you that are running iOS 17 public beta public beta 4 has been out for a couple of days as well Apple released it a few hours later after releasing developer beta 6 now iOS 17 public beta 4 is the same as iOS 17 developer beta 6 keep that in mind and it is a available in case you guys did not know and I want to start off with the health application because Apple continues to refine the operating system and let me see if you guys can tell the difference here in the options where you can log in your emotions and your moods here so let's go ahead and find those two options here and let's go and click into the actual UI now I want to see if you guys can actually see the difference here so I'm going to scroll all the way to the left here on both devices and can you guys see the difference here with the colors on the screen show up how the actual scrubber shows the colors in the background and things like that it looks a lot better Apple continues to polish the operating system same thing if I go all the way to the right you see that the colors look vibrant in my opinion they look better in a beta 6 as they did here in beta 5 they looked a little flat here in my opinion but Apple just continues to tweak the OS in order to make it, you know, a lot nicer to the eye. It looks a lot better in my opinion. Next, I want to jump into the iMessage application. So inside of Messages, Apple continues to improve the UI and the user experience, especially with the new menu that they added within iOS 17. Now we have seven default options instead of six, as you can see right here, something I mentioned before. Apple has also changed the cache tag to Apple Cache, as you can see right there. But aside from that, Apple has added a brand new option here, which is the long press for the icon in order to bring up your camera roll which I really like so if we long press here on the plus icon we now get the actual photos extension directly within the messages application it's still a little buggy here but take a look at that so if we long press and release we get the actual photos or the camera roll on the iPhone within the new extension something that I really like and something that I wanted to mention as well is inside of the settings extensions for messages here if we go into the messages extension here now this isn't unique to beta 6 I just wanted to mention this because I forgot to mention it within beta 5 we go into messages here and inside Side of messages we have the iMessage app extensions and you can actually hide some of the third-party extensions that we see within the picker here for the messages menu so yeah you can now hide those as well again this isn't unique to beta 6 I just wanted to mention that because I thought it was worth mentioning and I never mentioned that part before so yeah something new here Apple continues to improve the user experience with messages something that I really like and hopefully we'll see more of that to come here in the future now there's also additional changes within the phone application so if we go into the phone app here and we go into the recents right here we can actually now swipe to the left here to report any incoming call as a junk number so we couldn't do that before here in previous betas as you can see right here we can swipe to the left on the previous beta we don't get that menu but on the new beta you can actually again report as junk so if you get an incoming call from a number that's a scam or something like that you can actually do that directly within the phone application now a really cool new feature within iOS 17 developer beta 6 and this is something that was found by Steve Moser over on Twitter he's always digging around the software so I highly recommend you follow him on Twitter he found that now 
iOS 17 will extend your wallpaper. So take a look at this. So this wallpaper here, I can apply it to my iPhone just like I would with any other wallpaper, just like that, right? So if I go ahead and apply it, just like so, it just applies the wallpaper and now that is my wallpaper. However, if a wallpaper is small and it doesn't fit your iPhone, the OS actually extends the wallpaper to fit with a nice gradient. So take a look here. If I go ahead and I press here or pinch in, you'll see on the top of the screen, we see this white gradient here and we see wallpaper extended option right there in the center of the screen. Do you see that here in the bottom? Extended wallpaper or wallpaper extended. If I press down, as I pinch, you see that we get this white gradient that fills the screen, even though the wallpaper does not have this built into the actual wallpaper, which is really cool. So we can pinch and extend the wallpaper just like so. I think it is so cool. We can extend it just by swiping down just like that. And the actual operating system will actually fill in the remaining spaces with this gradient as it thinks that this is the best option for the wallpaper. And we can add it, of course, to our wallpaper. Something really cool that I wanted to mention and yeah, this is a really cool option in the latest beta. Now I want to talk about benchmarks because you guys are always asking about performance. This is the previous beta on this iPhone, so beta 5. Single core score was 2,647 and the single core on today's beta is 2,646. So basically the same number here for the single core score, but in the multi-core score department, we have 6,869 on a beta five and in beta six, we actually have a nice jump to 6,901. So yeah, we see performance improvements, additional new features. Hopefully we'll continue to see this with iOS 17. Hopefully Apple will continue to add more new features, more enhancements, improve the battery, improve the performance. By the way, make sure you stay tuned for my follow-up video where I'll talk about the battery, the performance, the bugs that is coming within the next 48 hours or so. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. This has been my follow-up on iOS 17 developer beta 6 and public beta 4. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.